The fire's out, but so are the lights for tens of thousands of people across the valley this morning. LADWP still can't say exactly when the power will come back on. KCON 9's Ray Benedict is live for us in Northridge, where it was pitch black for miles, but slowly things are starting to get back on track. Right, Joy? That's right. Slowly but surely, it looks like folks are getting their power restored. Um, at its height this morning, we're talking about 94,000 customers without power. DWP gave the estimate of about two to four hours. That would put us at about 9.30 this morning before they were hoping to have the majority of those customers restored. But nonetheless, we are live right now in front of receiving station J at the DWP. you got a lot of folks coming in and out as they have been working all night long to try and get the lights back on. Just so many here in this area. Take a look at this video, though, from last night. This was at the height of the blackout, 140,000 customers in the dark. And you can tell by our shot from way up above in the chopper just how dark it was out here in the Northridge area that was affected by this power outage. But of course, this is the scene that everyone had seen throughout the evening and drew lots of attention as heavy flames and smoke lit up the evening sky after an explosion and fire at the DWP storage facility here in Northridge. It happened at around 7 o'clock. The fire was in an oversized excuse me, an energized storage vault. It was full of about 50,000 gallons of mineral oil. DWP workers had to de-energize that vault before the fire department could come in and put the fire out. So that took about an hour as folks were watching it just simply burn. But then once they got the power, excuse me, the fire out, then they could begin the process of trying to restore the power. They did have some customers, about 50,000, have their power back on by about 10 o'clock last night. But everybody else had to spend the night without the power in the heat, in the dark, and that's what a lot of folks were dealing with. Now, I do want to talk a little bit, though, about food. So we're getting a lot of questions about food storage. Unfortunately, stuff in the refrigerator is most likely bad. Your milk products or whatever, they're only going to stay in a closed fridge for about four hours and stay good. Your freezer is a different story, though. According to the Health and Safety Administration, it does look like a full freezer, completely full of frozen goods, can stay good for about 48 hours, a half freezer about 24 hours, and you can do the math depending on how full your freezer is. But as long as you've been keeping your freezer door shut, the stuff in your freezer should, should still be good as we're going on about 13 hours right now without power. But hopefully, Serene, folks won't have to go much longer as they are hoping to have the power back up and running within the next hour or so. We'll keep our fingers crossed for them. Joy, thank you.